everybody, so to kick off the new year, I thought that recently I've been doing quite a few serious heavy video topics lately. So I thought today I'm going to do something that is fun, motivational, while being educational at the same time. I decided to set myself a challenge for something that I know a lot of you have wanted me to do. Could I find 10 websites online where you can make money for free? That's right, I wanted to find 10 entirely free websites where you can make money without having to spend any money to make it. No hidden subscription services, no hidden fees, nothing like that. Perhaps this might become a series if you guys like it. But you know what? The challenge doesn't end there. I decided to up the ante. Could I find 10 websites where people are making money online for free without needing a credit card? And you know what? I think I've delivered. Now, disclaimer, these 10 websites, they are not going to make you a millionaire overnight. But as you'll see through taking action, people have built up money streams on these websites, including passive income that now earns them a full-time income, which I think is pretty cool. So I'm hoping that this video is going to motivate you and smash some of those mental roadblocks that you may have been having, where you think things like, oh, you need money to make money, or you need to live in America, or you need a credit card, because you know what? Those myths, they are not true. What you actually need is to take action. So let's kick things off with a bang because this first website, it can be used worldwide. Yep, this website is making people money worldwide. But to do so, you're going to need to know the secret hack, which I will show you. Now, when you see this first website, I don't want you to click away because I bet some of you are gonna go, Sarah, look, I'm not talented enough to make money using that website. But you know what? I bet that isn't true. So website number one, redbubble.com. So what is Redbubble and how does it make money? Well, it is a website that allows you to make money by creating and selling custom products online. So it lets you create things like t-shirts, phone cases, that sort of thing. But how do you make them? Well, it's simple. Once you create an account, which is absolutely free, and you only need to enter your name and email address, you can start uploading artwork and designs to products literally in less than a minute, no credit card required. You can choose which products you want to list and sell with your artwork online and you can customize your products, choose what color they will come in, what style, add in your own custom product description and title. Then when a customer purchases one of them, such as this t-shirt, Redbubble's production warehouse will print your design onto a t-shirt, package that t-shirt up, and then ship it out to the customer automatically without you having to do anything. In this industry, we have a name for the service, it's called print on demand. And as you can see, once you've created and uploaded your designs onto the products, it's an extremely passive source of income. With Redbubble, they pay you a commission on each product sold with the standard commission rate being 20%. Because they pay you out as a commission, you never have to pay any fees. And so selling is free. Now I can imagine for some of you out there though, there are two big objections that you might be having right now. Objection one, okay, Sarah, but is it actually free? Sure, I can create a t-shirt to sell, but what about traffic? Don't I have to pay to advertise my t-shirt? The answer is nope. You know how people come to eBay and they search for products that they want to buy here? eBay has invested lots of money into advertising, to say the least, and so now it's so well known that it's what you would call a destination website. People come here and buy products each day, and so most eBay sellers make their money just by people searching for their products. Well, Redbubble is the same. It's a destination website. People come here looking for products that they want to buy. And so most Redbubble sellers make money through free traffic that they get to their listings via the search bar. Now it's on to objection number two. Okay, Sarah, that's great and all, but what if I'm not a graphic artist, you know? Look, that's a cool picture on that phone case there, but I can't draw that. And you know what? Neither could I. I couldn't draw these sweaters, and I couldn't draw that cool t-shirt. But here's the thing. To make money on Redbubble, you don't need to be an artist. And I'll prove it to you right now. So we're gonna head on over to one of Redbubble's most popular products, t-shirts. And we're gonna look for funny t-shirts by typing funny into the search bar. And I think a lot of people are going to be very surprised because check this out. These are some of the top selling designs right now on Redbubble for funny t-shirts. And a bunch of them are incredibly simple text-based designs. Now, let me ask you a question. Does this t-shirt here look difficult to make? Because I'll tell you now, it's incredibly easy. 
I have very little graphic design skills. I normally have to hire people to make designs for me, but even I was able to replicate this design and make one that looks extremely similar using the free app Canva with open source commercial license fonts. And it took me less than five minutes because it's literally just text. Anyone could have made this t-shirt, uploaded it and sold it. And that's the secret. If you have no graphic design skills and you wanna make money, focus on selling humorous t-shirts because oftentimes simple text-based designs add to the humor and make it funnier than if it had had a more complicated design. All right, so you sold your funny t-shirts. That's awesome. But how do I get paid, Sarah? Well, Redbubble have two payment options. First of all, they can pay out directly to a PayPal or they can pay out directly to a bank. Now, unfortunately, bank deposits are only available in limited countries. However, there is a workaround, and that is Payoneer. With Payoneer, you can set up your USA bank account to receive money in all online for free. Now, most people don't think that you can set up a Redbubble account to Payoneer because Redbubble requires your bank's physical address, which Payoneer doesn't tell you in your account info. But they will send it to you if you contact and ask their support. By doing this, people have connected their Payoneer bank accounts to Redbubble and they have accepted payments into it. Now I can imagine you're all thinking, Sarah, you know, this all sounds good and all, but does this simple t-shirt actually, well, you know, make money on Redbubble? The answer is it sure does. You see how this t-shirt is sitting here in the search results? Well, Redbubble is similar to Etsy search engine. If I type in funny t-shirts into Etsy search engine, I'll get lots of results too. In fact, there are thousands of funny t-shirts on Etsy, literally. So how do they choose which t-shirts they're going to list on the first page? The number one way that the search engine decides that is with sales. If a t-shirt is selling, it will sit higher in the search results. We know then that all of these t-shirts on the first page must have sold recently. The same is with Redbubble. We know that all of the t-shirts that are here on the first page have sold recently. So yes, simple text-based designs, when funny, can sell great. But Sarah, you say, how can I get those initial sales so that my t-shirt will start ranking for bigger words like funny when I'm just getting started? Well, there is a secret hack which I am going to show you. Rather than go for a broader humorous t-shirt, if you're stuck for ideas, create a niche specific design and look for niches and groups of people that have been ignored. So for example, this t-shirt here, it's pretty specific, right? It's about engineers. This is a good idea because engineers are passionate about their jobs and they love wearing career specific merch. There's just one problem with this niche. If we do a search on Redbubble for funny engineer t-shirts, you know what? We'll see that there are lots of t-shirts already that we would have to compete with for sales. And so that's what you should do. Come and see if you can find groups of people who don't already have any t-shirts made for them. So if we check out another passionate career, science teachers, we'll see that, yep, they have lots of t-shirts made for them with jokes about being specifically a science teacher. But what about another type of teacher? What about a drama teacher? If we come and do a search for that, we'll find something interesting. While there are t-shirts aimed at people interested in drama and theater and general teacher t-shirts, there are very, very few aimed specifically at drama teachers. This niche is completely wide open for someone to create a great, funny t-shirt aimed at them and to take all of the sales and traffic as a gift for drama teachers. Because again, if we come to the search bar and this time type in gifts for drama teachers, you'll see, Again, we'll get gifts aimed at theatre lovers and gifts aimed at teachers in general, but very, very few aimed at drama teachers, as this group has just been completely ignored on Redbubble. It's wide open for you or anyone to come in and make great products for. And by the way, if you've learned something new and you would like to learn even more about making money online, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that little notification bell next to it so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. All right, on to the next website, and I think that a lot of people are probably going to recognize it because it's featured on YouTube a lot. But you probably never realized that it could be making you money and that it's actually making some people over $100,000 a year, largely in passive income. Now, there are two ways to make money with this website. The first is the slow way. And that is the more obvious way to make money with it. However, after that, I'm then gonna tell you about the little known way to make much faster money with it and to make way, way more money than you would with the first method. And don't worry, when a lot of people see this website, 
They're gonna go, look Sarah, I'm not skilled enough, I'm not qualified enough, I can't do it. However, if you keep listening, as you'll see, you don't need to be special or have any skills at all. So we are here on Skillshare. This website sponsors a lot of YouTubers and no, they are not sponsoring this video. Anyway, normally people come here and pay them $10 a month to get access to all of their video classes. So for example, if I wanted to learn how to make a latte, I could just type that into the search box and boom, I'd get given a bunch of free video classes I could watch, such as this one. And here is what most people don't know. This class, it was just made by some random guy because anyone is allowed to make a Skillshare class and start making money with it. Me, you, anyone. And on average, new teachers make between $200 to $3,000 in their first month, which is pretty cool, but that's not the best part. The best part is that once you put your classes up, all of that money that you're earning, it is passive. And remember, that is how much they earn in their first month with their first course. Imagine what happens when they then go and create another one and then create another one. It all adds up and once your class is live, you don't have to do anything. That is how people have been able to make over $100,000 a year with Skillshare. So the way that you get paid on Skillshare is for each minute somebody watches your videos, you get paid. So if I wanted to learn how to make French press coffee, I'd watch this five minute video and then he'd be paid for each of those five minutes. Now, you might have noticed that this says that he's only had a thousand students. Well, all that means is a thousand people have watched a big chunk of his whole course, but the vast, vast majority of people will only watch the specific videos that they want. So for example, most people will come in here and say, you know what, I just want to know how to make cold brew coffee. Because they only watch this one video, they won't be noted as a student, but he'll still get paid for all of those views just the same. And as you can see, this video is super simple. It was probably filmed on a cell phone in bad lighting and based on the audio quality, he probably just used the cell phone microphone. And here is another video course. It's literally just someone talking while they recorded their screen. There is no fancy editing required here. And if you wanted to make even more money from your classes, you could put them up on our third website. Udemy. Udemy is another website that also lets you sell your courses. Unlike Skillshare, which is a subscription service, here people buy your courses individually. Because of that, earnings on Udemy do tend to be higher. Teachingguide.com estimates that about 40% of classes have made over $5,000. I actually got a friend that makes about $25,000 a year with one course, which is neat. However, you guys might be thinking, well, Sarah, that's great and all, there's just two problems. One, I don't have any skills. I've got nothing to teach. How could I make a class and then sell it? And Sarah, I've got another problem with all of this. That's great and all, but you know what? I want even more money than that. Well, never fear because I've got you covered. So here is what you do, check this out. If we come in and type in Photoshop, as we can see, lots of people want Photoshop tutorials. And guess what? You can make these for free. Most of these tutorial videos are just a mixture of talking over slideshows and talking over screen captures of people doing the editing inside of Photoshop. And even if you're like me and you have a quote unquote funny accent and people don't like the way that you pronounce words, never fear because lots of these Photoshop tutorials also feature people with foreign accents. But anyway, Regardless, let's come on over to YouTube and type in Photoshop tutorials. You will get a bunch of tutorial videos. And you know what you can do? You can take the popular topics and videos, recreate them yourself, and then go and list those videos on Skillshare and Udemy. You don't need to be a Photoshop guru. But wait, Sarah, you say, don't I need to pay $10 to buy a monthly Photoshop subscription? Nope. Photoshop has a free seven day trial, download it and hustle hard for those seven days and record lots and lots of tutorial videos. But wait, Sarah, you say, do I need money to buy screen capture software to make these videos? Nope, check this out. There is a free open source screen capture software and there is free video editing software for you to use. But wait, Sarah, you say, don't I need to buy a mic to do the voiceover? Well. Not if you have a phone that can record audio. And it gets even better because Adobe has an affiliate program that you can use to make even more money. So if you don't know what an affiliate program is, let me show you. I'm here on my website, Wholesale Ted, 
Now, if we click on this link, we'll get taken to my favorite e-commerce platform, Shopify. And if we come and check out the URL, we'll see it has a tracking code attached. This means that Shopify tracks everyone that clicks on it, and if they buy a subscription, I'll get a commission. And check this out, each year I make well over $100,000 a year with Shopify commissions with my affiliate links. So yes, I very much believe that this is the superior way to make money on Skillshare. It's allowed, but you know what? Not a lot of people are doing it on Skillshare. So once you've made your Skillshare and Udemy courses, sign up for the Adobe Affiliate Program and get your tracking link. Then put that link in the description of your Photoshop tutorials and tell people that they can click on it to get a free trial for Photoshop. And each time someone buys Photoshop or one of their Adobe products, you will get 85% commission on their first month subscription. So if you wanna make even more money from these platforms, create video lessons on products that have affiliate programs and free trials for you to take advantage of. And here is a tip, Skillshare actually has two different accounts you can sign up for. You can sign up for their $10 a month account, which you can easily get a free two month trial for, but you don't need that to create a course. To create a course on there and become a teacher, all you need is their free plan. And of course, once you have gone ahead and recreated tutorial videos that you found on YouTube, what is stopping you from posting them onto YouTube itself? So this of course is my fourth website on the list. So here is one of my tutorial videos. This teaches people how to set up a Shopify store using my favorite e-commerce app and platform, Shopify. It's been up for 10, 11 months now, and it's made me a fair chunk of change in AdSense revenue, $9,000 for one video, not bad. But the real money, of course, comes from affiliate commissions. I put my Shopify link in the video description, people click on it and buy Shopify. So while this video has made about $9,000 in USD for ad revenue alone, it's made tens of thousands of dollars in addition to that in affiliate commissions. And the thing is, is you're probably like, well, Sarah, look, you are in a little box there and I don't want to have to be on camera for my tutorials. You told me I didn't have to be on camera to make money from tutorial videos. And you know what? It is true. Take a look at this tutorial teaching people how to set up a store with Shopify. It's even more popular than mine and there is no one on camera at all. It's just someone filming their screen while they click buttons and talk over it. So there is no camera required. And so if you aren't skilled with filming and editing videos, tutorials are a great way to get started making money on YouTube. Of course, if you do have actual video skills, then you might wanna consider this next website. Shutterstock. Of course, on here, you can sell photos and videos that you take as stock footage. And do people buy this? Absolutely. I myself spend lots of money on stock videos. In fact, I've used stock videos in this video multiple times. And some of the clips I've bought have been incredibly basic. For example, I bought this clip here, which anyone could have filmed just by sticking a 4K ready smartphone on a tripod. That's it, no fancy filming. It's literally just a still shot of people walking past a Forever 21 store that was shutting down due to their bankruptcy. I know people that make thousands of dollars passively each month off of their portfolios. The way that they make it though, isn't by selling photos, it is by selling videos that are in 4K. These have the highest royalty commissions. So if Shutterstock sounds like something that you'd like to make money from, I highly recommend focusing on 4K video. Now the next video is something that my regular subscribers will probably recognize. And I think that you guys are gonna be pretty interested in some of the case studies that I'm going to show you. And this is it, Merch by Amazon. See, a lot of people don't know this, but Amazon has its own print on demand service too that works just like Redbubble. You need to submit an application, and I do recommend Googling best practices for submitting an application, but if you're accepted, you get access to the print on demand service. All you need to do is upload a piece of artwork or a design, and Amazon will create these products for you, and you can create an Amazon product listing that people can find just by using their search engine. You can set your own price, add in your own title, description, and fully edit your listings. Now, some people use Merch by Amazon as a source of side income. Some people use it to earn a full-time income. This t-shirt here, it was made with Amazon's Merch by Amazon program. And according to the Amazon sales research tool, Jungle Scout, in the past month, it sold roughly 630 shirts. Now, Based on the product price, that's roughly $4.50 commission a shirt. So it made this creator roughly $2,800 in profit this month alone. And for many people, that's a full-time income. And check this out, this simple text-based t-shirt, 
piggybacking off of the new meme and phrase that came out of that incident. This t-shirt has been regularly selling well since it launched and according to Jungle Scout, has sold roughly 450 shirts this month alone. And since this t-shirt is priced lower, it has a smaller commission per shirt of $3.70. So this t-shirt made about $1,600 in profit, which is nice side income. And this t-shirt, it sold the most according to the Jungle Scout research app, roughly 1,080 shirts. And at this price, it made its creator roughly $3 a shirt, which means over $3,200 in profit. And as you can see, this t-shirt has been up since 2017, making its creator money passively for free. Just like with Redbubble, Amazon is obviously a destination website, so they take care of the marketing for you and bring in the customers. And just like with Redbubble, it's commission-based. So if I were to sell this t-shirt for $17.99, Amazon would remove their fees to sell and produce this t-shirt and pay out $3.72 as a commission. So you don't need to pay for the cost of producing the t-shirt to sell it. Amazon takes it out of the product price. And so how do you get your commissions? Well, Amazon pays them out into a bank account and that includes a Payoneer account. All right, so my next website, it's a bit of a cliche, but trust me, don't click away because I'm gonna tell you the secret as to how you can actually make money on it. All right, so I'm here on Fiverr. Now, if you don't know what Fiverr is, it's a place where freelancers can offer their services in the form of one-off gigs that people can buy. It's free to create and list a gig selling your services. So if you're a freelancer, this is a great site to make money. And seriously, I spend so much money on here. I have spent thousands buying people's gigs last year. So I know a lot of money can be made on here because I pay people thousands of dollars each year. Now, usually people hate Fiverr as a suggestion to make money because they'll go, oh, it's too competitive. But that's because everyone is trying to make gigs like everyone else is doing, such as offering a blog post writing service. Lots of people have this. And so to make sales, you need to have lots of reviews to stand out. Or if they're artistic, they are trying to make gigs around super popular services, like designing t-shirts for print on demand stores. Again, you'll need lots of reviews to stand out. But you know what? That's not how you make money as a broke freelancer on Fiverr. Nope, check this out. Sneakers are a popular print on demand product because they can sell for high prices. So I wondered, are there any gigs that advertise print on demand sneakers? And well, it turned out that there was only one listing I could find on Fiverr and that was it. There might have been more than this, but they have been very poorly optimized for the search keywords. And so this listing, despite being quite new, is getting lots of orders. This is a service that lots of people want and need and there is only one person offering it. And there are lots of services out there just like this with lots of room for you to come in and take over. The key here is to do the research and don't just try to sell what everyone else is. And if you are a freelance writer based in the USA and you just want to make money writing and don't want to have to hustle for clients, be sure to check out this site, Textbroker. The way this works is that you sign up for the website and you take a writing sample test. Based on that, you're assigned a level. Most people I know who got A's and B's in English class at school get a four star ranking immediately, earning you 1.4 cents a word. Once assigned, you can then log in to the orders portal, choose an order and write the article for it. Now, I don't know about you, but I can easily write a 1,000 word article in an hour, which would be $14 an hour with a four star ranking. But if you work on your writing craft and hit that five star ranking, now you make $50 an hour. But yes, unfortunately, I'm fairly certain that it's only available for Americans. However, the next website, it is available worldwide. Anyone from anywhere can make money with it. Check this out, 28,600 US dollars in the past five months. This was how much money was made from my next website, Instagram. You know, there are a lot of opportunities for people to earn money online with Instagram. So this $28,600 was made from free organic Instagram traffic from one page with less than 50,000 followers in a specific niche by a friend of mine. And they built that page just by posting great niche specific content. They didn't pay for any ads. And so the way they monetized it was they created an ebook for free using this free ebook creator app. And then next, they created a free two week trial on ClickFunnels and they made a mini website that sold their ebook. And you know, you can actually sell products with ClickFunnels and pay nothing over that two week trial period, which I found pretty insane that they don't make you upgrade early if you actually try to sell things. 
And so after that, they then announced their ebook to their Instagram page. And within their first week, they had sold over $7,000. And of course, over the past five months, they made over $28,600 in total. And they were selling their ebook for less than $20. But people, I am sorry. I have to admit something to you. I lied to you today. This method wasn't free because they also bought an $8.88 Namecheap.com domain name and connected it to their funnel instead of using ClickFunnels free subdomain. Sarah, how could you? You promised us only free methods. And $8.88 is not free. That's $8.88. Look, I'm sorry, you're right. So let me make it up to you by showing you two completely free methods that you can use to make money with Instagram. Here's one way. This Instagram meme page for cats, or when you click on the link in the bio, it links you to their print on demand store where they are selling their own t-shirts. And remember what anyone can do, anyone can create their own free print on demand store using Redbubble and start selling t-shirts with free Instagram traffic right now. And here is another way. Do you see this Instagram page? Somebody has built it for free just by reposting cute photos and videos of dogs. Well, if we check out their latest post, we'll see that it's actually a video ad for a product that creates a custom necklace of your dog. And if we check out their bio, we'll see a link to that product. This was a paid advertisement bought by this online store, Wear Felicity. And they likely purchased this Instagram shout out ad on a site similar to the next one on my list, Shoutcart. This is a website that lets Instagram accounts sell shout outs. You buy it for a limited amount of hours usually and after that it gets deleted. This allows pages to advertise without clogging up their feed with ads. Shout outs are an easy, low effort way to make money on Instagram. But of course, you could take that money you earn from them and reinvest that back into an $8.88 domain name and make even more money. So, did I deliver on my challenge? Let me know in the comment section. And if you have any other websites you'd like to add to this list, then be sure to put them in the comment section so that you can help clear that mental roadblock that a lot of people have that makes them think that they need money to make money. And of course, if you would like even more free training on creating a print on demand store, then be sure to download my free ebook, The Six Steps That Six Figure Online Stores Follow to Make Over $10,000 a Month. And you'll find a link to download that ebook in the video description below.